Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel for six things that we learned from Arsenal 5, Chelsea 0, Chelsea 0. It is the worst I've ever felt after a loss. This is honestly the lowest point that I've felt on this YouTube channel as a Chelsea fan in my 29, nearly 30 years of being a fan of this football club. I genuinely think it's never, ever felt this low. Arsenal have destroyed us. Arsenal have humiliated us. It was an abomination. There is literally only a couple of hundred Chelsea fans left in the away end because as much as the players out there tonight, Pochettino, deserve to be slaughtered for this. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush. I have been so much more positive in the last week or so. I've been trying to look at the fact that, oh, the form in 2024, Chelsea aren't actually doing that bad, are they? The results have been good. I've been trying to like gather together some optimism and flipping heck do I feel like an idiot for it. I genuinely feel like a, the biggest twat going because that is an absolute disgrace that we have seen tonight. And let me just say this. I made a YouTube short video today about Thiago Silva. Posted it this morning or yesterday or whatever it was. Thiago Silva comes on when we're 5-0 down. Is Pochettino having a flipping laugh, mate? Are you taking the piss? Are you actually taking the piss and just... <laughs> and not only that, but Jorginho's coming on for Arsenal. You've got Kai Havertz. You've got Kai Havertz scoring two goals against us and looking like the best striker in the Premier League. Chelsea Football Club are in the mud. We, tonight, whatever I was saying about back in Pochettino, I genuinely think there are just some things that happen in football and there are some performances and some results that are just, it makes someone's job untenable. And as much as I've been like discussing the idea potentially that we might actually be improving after what we have just witnessed here at the Emirates, I genuinely think there's no way that Maurizio Pochettino can remain as the Chelsea manager beyond this season. Because what we have seen tonight is Chelsea without Cole Palmer is not, it doesn't exist. Like we have to redefine, we have to rewrite the name of the club and just call it Cole Palmer FC. And normally, like I would say that these kind of things that we would say would just be a bit silly, but like genuinely, without Cole Palmer, it's as if the players genuinely looked at this match tonight and thought, Nah, like, we got no chance in this game, do we? Like, absolutely no hope whatsoever to get anything out of this match. It starts, and Havertz is in after 20 seconds. Badia Shield does actually technically bring him down, but, like, because he's offside, nothing happens. It's, it's not a penalty. You've then got Leandro Trossard scoring to make it 1-0 to Arsenal inside the first five minutes. What did I say to you lot in the preview? What did I say? I said... Don't let Arsenal score an early goal. Because Arsenal scoring an early goal, it means a multitude of things. But the main thing from a footballing, if I can even just analyse this from a footballing side for a second. When Arsenal score an early goal, they like to just sit back and hold their shape. And that is how they've become so strong defensively this season. The differences in that first half between Arsenal and Chelsea is beyond comprehension. When Gabriel gets the ball... He literally looks up. He's got all the time in the world because there's no Chelsea press. We're not trying to win the ball back. He cuts five or six Chelsea players out with a pass to a midfielder. The transition between the way that Arsenal have the ball in defence, getting it forward, they have literally, by the time that Partey or Rice or Odegaard has the ball in the middle, they've already given it to the Arsenal forward before Chelsea have even realised that Gabriel released the ball from the defence. It's men against boys. It's an absolute shambles, an absolute shambles beyond my wildest dreams. I never, ever thought I would see anything this bad. I gen I'm genuinely humbled. I'm genuinely embarrassed to be a Chelsea fan right now. A week ago, we beat Everton 6-0, but it's, it's more the nature of how. And the fact that Arsenal are genuinely title contenders. They're top of the Premier League. They're looking to win a first league title since before I was in flipping like almost nappies. Do you know what I mean? Like I wasn't in nappies when I was seven, eight years old, but you know what I mean. And Chelsea Football Club have just like, what even, what, is that even like a performance? Is it even worth analysing the way that some of the players have played? Like it's, it's embarrassing. 
And I'm going to get into the boxes straight away because you guys saw it. You know, you've already seen the second goal. You've already seen the Havertz brace. Ben White. Ben flipping White. A man that can even just say no to playing for England. He's scoring two goals against us and looking like Cafu. Prime Cafu. Oh, man. If I don't laugh, I'll cry. I genuinely mean that. Mudrick is box number one. It is a red box for Mudrick. I... Of all of the games that we've seen Mudrick play, like, again, he's one of those where, like, I get excited. I'm like, oh, he could be really good. But, like, I genuinely believe that Mudrick could just be one of those players that can get you off your seat once in a while. But as a footballer, when it comes to the IQ that is, that's needed in the Premier League, let alone against Arsenal, Bakayo Saka, Ben White, like, come on, man. It is, he's all over the shop. He's absolutely all over the shop. He's not available for a pass. The defending side of his game is absolutely non-existent. A left-hand side for Chelsea of Marco Correa and Mudrik that cost over 100 million quid is actually enough to make me want to vomit in my coffee cup and drink it again. I'm, I, it's genuinely disgusting. Box number two is a red for Enzo Fernandez. I don't know why Enzo Fernandez is out there on the pitch tonight for Chelsea. The man is injured. He's clearly hurting. Somebody in this god forsaken medical department like this is a player we spent a hundred million quid on and he's injured he's got a hernia why are you letting him go out there and play football like not only is he out there being humiliated like the rest of us but like he's not fit enough to be playing premier league football he's not fit enough to be playing in the league two like he's just not fit Enzo Fernandez isn't fit. He's useless for Chelsea right now. Absolutely useless. And I genuinely feel sorry for him because he's being overused. We bring Cesare Cassidy back from Leicester on loan and like we bring him on when the team is already battered, dead and buried. It's an embarrassment. The substitutions tonight. Benoit Badiashiel is box number three. It's a red. How? Please, someone, anyone, help me. How is Trevor Chalobah, who's actually come in and solidified the Chelsea back line, Thiago Silva, Chelsea have been good defensively in the last couple of games. How have neither of those two players started against Arsenal and Benoit Badiashil plays for Chelsea? I, I, the, the, I, 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 I'm losing it. I, I don't... I, I, like I said, I think there are some matches, some performances and some decisions that make this, this job untenable. Pochettino tonight has... Butchered this beyond comprehension. Box number four is a red for Mark Kukurea, who again, I think recently has been decent. I put him in my team if you watch my match preview, but he got absolutely destroyed. There were moments in the first half where Saka has skinned him and then he tries to skin him again. He's taking the piss out of him. Do you know what I mean? Like a Kukurea actually gets back and defends it. But overall, there's, there's no structure to this defense whatsoever, which is why... Pochettino is box number five. Chelsea defensively, we don't exist. I feel sorry for Alfie Gilchrist tonight, who I'm happy that he started. I think it proves that Chelsea see him as a potential right back for the club, but like he got destroyed by Trossard. Pochettino, and the fact that at half time there's no substitutions, it doesn't take a genius to see the difference between Arsenal and Chelsea. Arsenal's midfield, Party, Rice, Odegaard, they're all close together. They all just work. Everything works. Gallagher, Caicedo and Enzo, it's as if they've literally all been sleeping with each other's girlfriends and they don't want to know each other. They don't want to be close to each other. They don't, they don't want to know. They, there's so much space between them. It is an, it's a disaster. And how Pochettino can see that at half time, where we weren't bad in the first half, but we certainly weren't very good. How he can then send the team out and we get worse from that position and still no changes is just... Beyond my wildest imagination. It's a disgrace. As is the club right now. Box number six is a red for the badge. Which I hate that. I, I hate it, but I've got to just... We have to be honest here and say that what we've just seen tonight is a culmination of everything. Awful recruitment. Absolutely atrocious rec recruitment. And... You know, a manager right now who, as much as I've started to back Pochettino, what I've seen tonight, there's no response in the second half. It's literally as if we've come in at half, come out in the second half as if we're 4 0 down. But no, we were 4 0 down a few minutes into the second half because we capitulated. There's no passion. There's absolutely nothing there from these Chelsea players. And I am embarrassed. 
I'm absolutely embarrassed and I, I genuinely am proud of myself for making it 10 minutes through this video and even uploading this video because I I don't want to... I, how has it got this... How 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 are we this bad? How are we this bad? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me... Yeah, just... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.